Hey guys, I'm back here for Tokyo Revengers episode 7, but first I'm going to start off by saying D Chen. Thank you so much for clearing some stuff up for me in the comments because there were two major things I was confused about about the show so far like one of them was about the show so far and the other one was about like recent stuff so D Chen, D Chen, you explained to me how about because I was confused about how the timeline works and how the updated information that the characters get like Naoto and Takamichi how they how the information they get and then when he goes to the future how does it affect the timeline because as you know We've all watched like timeline or time travel stuff and it's either some a new timeline is created. Like think of Orange. Have y'all seen Orange, that anime? Like that where it's like two separate timelines. And, or it's the same timeline and it's just like if you've seen the butterfly effect with Ashton Kutcher, it's like all on the same timeline. So D Chen, you explained to me that as Takamichi is changing the past or changing the future when he goes back to the future to talk to Naoto he's Naoto is updated with new information and you told me that it was kind of like how Akun appeared when he didn't stab Kiyomasa Akun appeared like on his what was it, his laptop you said it was his um uh yeah it was on his computer okay so one thing that I thought, because I was confused about it, I thought Draken got stabbed in the old timeline. And you said he, you were pretty sure that he dies in the OG timeline, but in this new timeline, he gets stabbed. Like, uh, Draken being killed on August 3rd, like, this is a part of the new timeline that Takamichi has created. So that tells me that maybe last episode, there's, um,. What we saw with Draken and Mikey, like, it was, like, the start of their little beef, like, I'm sorry, Mikey, you just, like, I get it, like, I know, I know, D-Chen, you make, you be make, you make some good points, D-Chen, <laughs> you told me, yeah, he just met Takamichi, there's no way he would change his mind, like, I totally understand why Mikey wouldn't change his mind, like, that makes absolute complete sense, leader of a gang, y'all getting revenge for what that other gang did, which was terrible, and I totally understand that as well. But I just have a lot of respect for Draken because as a leader, it takes a lot to, it take, I feel like it's easier to be like, yeah, let's go fuck them up. We're going to get revenge, blah, blah, blah. You see me trying to show off my nails here? <laughs> it's easier to be like, yeah, let's go fuck them up and get revenge. But it's much harder to hold back and wait. It's much, it's much harder and I would say it can even even um, compromise your position as a leader or how people look at you for you to like be more patient. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like, like just like I feel like between talk not talking about me, between Mikey and Draken, Mikey is the head out first. Let's attack them. Let's attack them. Of course we're gonna um kick their asses. Where Draken is more like. I want, we're gonna kick their ass, but hold on, wait a minute. Let me see something real quick. Let let me. I want to plot a little bit. Let me check some shit out first. Like we still going we still gonna whoop their ass, but let me check something. Like Draken's the more um reserved. I feel like I don't know. He seems the more the silent but deadly, and Mikey is the the quiet yet powerful. Not the quiet, but the loud but powerful. I don't know how to explain it, but that's the. But that's what I'm getting at. So thanks D Chen for clearing up the timeline stuff and that Naoto and Takamichi are getting updated with information. And that's why Naoto is confused because he knows what happens the old way but he's getting updated with the new information. So that makes way more sense to me now. And then you also cleared up for me D Chen that about the ranking system. So Mikey is the commander of the whole gang while Draken is vice commander. So they at the top and then at the bottom you got the divisions. Each division got a captain. Mitsuya is a captain. And then I'm sh I don't know how many divisions there are, but uh and I think uh I can't remember, but the episode where we're introduced to Pachin and Mitsuya, we can see their division number. They may be division two. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember, but there's each divisions. So these fact, the word factions that they're talking about, I believe is the divisions, each division. And however many divisions there are, there's going to be a split between 
the one divi the divisions that support Mikey and the divisions that support Drake. In. And like I said before, I really feel like it's going to be more of a battle of morality or or just like I guess you could say like ways of thinking. Their their way of thinking or their leadership or they're clashing. And I do think they're clashing morally and they're clashing how of uh, uh, how they would how they run how they run shit like their leadership skill like their leadership um what word am i looking for the way they the way they are as leaders is clashing i feel like so before i just talk too much because y'all know i can talk i can talk for a long time but like i said thank you d chen for uh clearing those two things up for me and you be offering me different points of view that i really appreciate it so thank you thank you thank you thank you fight sir okay let's get started revive low key though i'm kind of glad they showed up because i did not want draken and mikey fighting but i know they're going to talk about this later osanai man he really it's just like life really beat him up like broke him down you saw how he was in the future oh my god i'm scared i already know takamichi gonna get his ass kicked no, it'd be crazy if Mikey and Drake can, like, beat the shit out of all of them. But I don't see that happening. Not Mikey Chan. Of the Baby Alliance. Mikey, Mikey really be out here in flip-flops and sandals. Like, it just makes him kind of cooler. <laughs> this is, like, really scary. Now, I'm thinking... Since now that I know that Drake and dying, getting stabbed on August 3rd, is this part of this new timeline that's currently exist right now, it all starts from this moment. Just like Osa and I said when they saw met him in a restaurant, like that was just a catalyst. Something happens in this warehouse where Draken and Mikey are going to clash, and I really do think it's going to have something to do with morale like they're just not gonna agree on some shit probably and it's already started but something was really gonna happen now hmm I always I can totally see it being a situation where Mikey I said this before where Mikey's going too far like Mikey's like say Mikey's about to kill someone and Drake and stops him and it's either Mikey really appreciates it because, you know, Drake can be having to check him all the time <laughs> from being completely heartless and cold. Or Mikey sees it as like, oh, so you don't agree with how I do things or like you, he, you know, Mikey be, he be dragging it. Like, oh, you're going to go against Toman now? Like, shut the fuck up, Mikey, please. I'm kind of, I'm a little scared. Look at these dudes. Y'all watch those Korean dramas and Japanese dramas? And they be beating the shit out of each other at the school. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's like, I was just thinking about your future pathetic self. Damn. Holy crap, bro. You know, Pachin is the one who's most angry, but damn. Oh, he's one of the best brawlers? Nice. Oh, wow. I don't know, man. Osanai seems like he... How are you? And it's like, how... I feel like you gotta be looking at this from a different type of perspective. You may have to play the mind games. Or play the mental games. This is Paul's fight though. That's a fact. Ooh, snap. Ooh, Pachan can take a hit. Oh, Osanai is a boxer. Damn! Oh man, you just got you just love a good fight, man. You gotta love a good fight. Ding, Pachin. I 
mean, we're talking about people who probably don't. Hmm. Maybe Mikey has the sort of plan, but hmm. Let's see. Why? He hasn't given up yet. Hmm. Hmm. This is literally just torture. Hmm. I wonder if this is it right here. Is this is this the moment that I was talking about? Wow. But I guess for someone who Oh Oh Pachin. I guess he, he wanted Pachin to like keep going until his absolutely last moment. He wanted to let Pachin have this moment to try to fight for himself. Hmm. You haven't lost because you didn't give up. You tried your best. Not get to groveling. Huh. Oh. You know Mikey don't give a shit about none of that. <laughs> He probably don't even hear them. I wonder if Mikey's a trained fighter. Oh my god. Mikey's gotta be a trained fighter. That's where his confidence come from. Look at that stance. That little stance he just did on his foot. What does he do? Capueta? Capueta? What type of fighting he be doing? Get your asses out here. Ooh! Uh oh. We quiet now, huh? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I'm scared for those guys now. <laughs> Think it's all about having spirit. If, if your spirit doesn't break, you didn't actually lose. You can get beat up, but... Oh, thank- Look at him twitching! Oh, I thought he was twitching. He- he- he really getting up. Oh! No way! It's not August 3rd yet? Not Pa Chin. Oh my god! Because you left the true delinquent path. Raping women, assaulting someone's parents. Right. Like, who does. Like, bro. Put some respect on his name. Whoa! Oh wow! See, the thing, the key is, you gotta take care of the commander before they can all jump you, and you don't get the opportunity. But they took him out. Yeah, bitch, come get your boss. assault that girl and beat her almost to death and that other dude and you're all shocked that he stabbed stabbed that guy oh he's like i'm ready to pay for my crimes wow mm. i don't think that happened in the old timeline 
He did get rocked hard quite a few times. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, I'm shocked. Look, he, where are he at? He in the hospital? Oh. <laughs> Not that was beyond my control. Okay. What? What? Why? Toman ended up divided between. Bro, oh my god, what the fuck happened? Mm. Ah, I see. Did Kisaki know that Pachin? Oh. Oh my god. Is this gonna be the ongoing gag throughout the show? <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Um. So it seems like Mikey is probably like, why did we leave him? Why did we run? Why did you take me? And Draken's like, we had to go. Is that what the conflict is? Mikey didn't want to abandon Pachin, I guess. And it seems like Kasaki, perhaps Kasaki, maybe he's the schnizel. He predicted. He predicted all this will happen. He knew Pachin was what, gonna stab Osanai. He wanted to turn himself in. And he knew they disagreed. Crap! They're irreparable? Dude. What? What the fuck are y'all laughing at? <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. Guys, this is real. Like, I mean, I, they don't know. They don't know what could happen. But. <laughs> oh, I love you, Dragon. Oh, big bro vibes. Oh. Okay, so whoo. I'm glad. I'm happy. I'm happy. They're not really fighting, or they're not fighting seriously. But they had a disagreement in jail until he was an adult. Mm. Damn! Not the puzzle! <laughs> not the puzzle! What? He said I'm done with Mikey. Oh, snap! Oh, so those were just rumors. They didn't think it was for real. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is like a drama. Not shit's getting real. <laughs> Who I shoot a butt in, right, Tucker? <laughs> I'm sorry. They're like kids. They are kids. I mean, I'm not beanpole. I'm so dead. Are they being for real? It seems like so. This is so childish. He just got out of the hospital. Stay out of it, Takamichi. But it seems like they're just like arguing. Look how he's looking. Telling me 
it's like they're fighting but this is so like childish because they are children but it's so ridiculous but it's like takamichi's the fact that takamichi's stuff is helping them get their anger out i think it's to show that takamichi is going to help them help them like stay friends does that make sense <laughs> this is hilarious <laughs> There are rumors going around that they're fighting, but I feel like it's like partly serious, partly not because clearly they're arguing and it is serious, but how Takamichi is there and like, I feel like them throwing and destroying his shit is kind of like, he it has the ability to help them like get out their frustrations, but like maybe they can just let it go. Now we don't know really what they're fighting about, but I'm going to take a very well educated guess just based off what we saw from the scene of them escaping the warehouse. You have Pachin turning himself in, Mikey saying no come with us and not even wanting to go and then Draken dragging Mikey and dragging Pe Peyan and telling Takumi like running like leaving. So I'm thinking that is the conflict or like they're that is really the bigger bigger what it is is mikey probably felt like i don't and i don't know mikey probably is like why did we run away we should have stood there and we should have stayed with him or something he didn't i don't know but but i think Draken is like there's no point probably like there's no point we should get out of there so i think that's it's really that's the initial conflict and i feel like Os osanai got stabbed and Kisaki, Kisaki probably was, you know what? It may not even be Kisaki, but Isaki is the antagonist of the show. So I'm assuming it's a Kisaki who's using his schnizel, like channeling his inner schnizel to predict situations. And probably, he probably has a great understanding of psychology or something. And so he knows Mikey Drake and he knows their personality and can probably predict what they may or may not do. And he did that to put them in that situation. He probably knew Pa Chen was going to stab Ozanai or something or injure him really badly and turn himself in maybe. Kisaki's probably the one who called the cops. Probably. And so set up, create a scenario where we would get Mikey and Drake in to clash in some form or manner. But anyway, I will say I really enjoyed this episode. This was really hilarious. I hope... The ongoing gag between Takamichi and Emma, <laughs> them being in very weird situations and then Hina like dropping in. That'd be hilarious if that's the reason why she breaks up with them. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will catch you guys later. Check out the description for the Twitch and the, and the Discord where I do post updates on when I do go live on Twitch. We be talking about stuff. I be playing games. I'm playing Resident Evil Village right now and I'm playing Life is Strange 2. Check that out. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.